Oh, who we got in here today? Oh, look at Danny. Oh, she's just an adorable little thing, isn't she? Oh, look at that. Who's that goofy looking kid? Oh, it's Rob. Rob sure has gone through a lot of changes just like you kids. You know, he's, he's shaving his face these days. Rob got his first gray hair when he was only 20 years old. Ah, I, this still <laughs> hurts my hip thinking about that. Oh, and who do we have here? Oh, that's a real wild card there. Oh, you know what? That's me. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I still got the good looks, don't I? So Grandma says, I tell you what. But one thing we know for sure, we're all getting older these days. You know, there's scientists out there that are studying the effects of aging. Wouldn't it be fun or kind of scary to see what you look like when you get old like me? Well, let's go take a look. Come on. Hello. Hey, Rob. I'm in Scotland on my way to St. Andrews, and uh, I need your help. I'm onto something really cool. I need some pictures of students. Yeah, we're on it. Okay. Hey, you guys. We're doing an experiment on aging. We don't have much time. Is there anybody who wants to see what they look like when they get old? Me! Oh, boy. Okay, on over here. Okay, let's go. And while the pictures were being sent to me, I made my way to St. Andrews University to meet up with Dr. Bernard Tiedemann, whose lab has developed a computer program that can give us an idea of what we will look like when we get old. I wanted to find out what our crew and some of our students will look like as 50-year-olds. But first, let's look at what actually happens in our bodies as we get older. Two things that tend to happen as we get older is that our skin gets wrinkles and our hair turns gray. In the skin, collagen and elastin are proteins that work together to keep our skin and other tissues tight and firm and stretchy. But with age, already long before we even notice it, the production of these proteins will decrease. Plus, the turnover of new skin cells may decrease a bit as well. And as a result, the skin cells lose rigidity and wrinkles will appear. Hair color is the result of melanin pigment in the hair follicles. With age, the amount of melanin going into the hair is also naturally reduced, and the hair turns gray. When this happens, varies between individuals and is dependent on several factors, such as genetics and how we live. Oh, I see. So you take, take everything off around. The so computer program first out. makes an average aging image of a set of faces. Just to give you an idea of how this works, this is, for example, what an average Untamed Science crew member would look like today. And this would be an average of our students. But for the aging analysis, you compare your own image to an average of a huge set of faces at the age you want to see yourself as. For example, as a 50-year-old. And the result? Well... Thanks, Bernard. This has been really fun. Is, would it be okay if I can get copies of these pictures? Yes, of course. No problem. Awesome. Thank you. And the pictures were sent back to the others. Let's go. Okay. So Jonas just sent us back the pictures. Let's go see what the kids think about getting old. Would you like to see some of the pictures of people in this class if they got really old? Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> it can of course be quite an interesting experience seeing what you might look like when you get older. But this can give us an idea of other things too. For example, how different lifestyles such as smoking and diet can affect our aging. And it can also maybe help give police an idea of what missing people or fugitives might look like long after they were last seen. Well, that was really interesting. So we've learned that many factors cause aging from cell division slowing down to pigment cells dying. One thing we know for sure is that it's natural to grow older and it's interesting to understand what happens to our bodies in the future. Just another reason to never stop exploring your world. See if you can find some old photos of yourself and create a timeline from when you were a baby until today. Have some fun and see if you can continue the timeline by making some predictions of how you might look when you get older. If you're interested to see what you will look like when you're, say, 50, you can actually get on the web and do the same thing yourself. <laughs>